Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Evil Islands. And I think this episode is going to feature a little story, because why not? Yes? Once upon a time, blatantly right about now, Zack and Cador wanted to go and fight some orcs in a cave. But clearly Cador needed to practice before he could fight some orcs in a cave. Yes! And there were a lot of dangerous wolves. Yes? That they could use to practice on. So that's blatantly what's going to happen. Oh, no. There we go. We're not going to be sneaking so much as just walking around I looking concur. for wolves to kill. That being said, we do want to be careful. Uh, many of the wolves from this area will come over there around the boards that they slew. There may be a few points where we're going to have to turn off aggression for Zack and let Cador keep on fighting and Zack keep on healing right you. Okay, this I do is not running. care where we go so long as we find someone to Yes! Lose. There were two boars there who can run this way. And I th okay, let's... I concur! Uh, let's go pick a fight. Uh -oh. Now he's fighting one. You're fighting I one. shall kill you. I think this one. Okay. Oh, they all hate Zack. Okay. If we can significantly injure one of them and redirect some of that aggression on Cadal, that is Yes? This is boring. Okay. We've almost got a perfect situation here. The only issue is we want this Okay, so yes? you go fight this one, or maybe this wolf will go for travel. Nope. Vultures. That's a pass. What we will do from this is get a lot of resources to help cover our expenses. Yes. There should be a way. second boar around there. We saw it run away when we started fighting the wolves, didn't we? I do not care where we go, so yes? long as we find someone to bruise. This may be an issue of the scenery providing large blind spots again. Right. Yes, yes. I found it odd that the wolves didn't attack that boar when it read, ran this way, but that's probably because they were only programmed to attack fleeing boars once and not twice. I'm Let's on my job. way. See if we can find this missing boar. Yes, boar. yes. Pretty sure it ran the other way. Okay, we better stop. I cannot around. run any longer. Ah. Uh. Well, so far so good. We're gaining some experience points. Um, again, experience points aren't displayed in single yes? player. Only in multiplayer. Well, let us go. Which is rather odd. I mean, there's there's no reason they should really be displayed. I'm on in my way. Player. Now, what's that? That is the missing board. 
You were begging for that. And at this point, it's basically time to kill everything that lies west of the river. I do not care where we go, so long as we find someone to... Please. This is not your day. Lovely. Now hush, Dave. I do not care where we go, so long as yes, we yes. find someone to bruise. If we can clear out this area, we can probably clear out some of this area down here as well. At which point, we may well be equipped to return to the village. I can I hear a wolf growling. There it is. We, will, we may well be equipped to return to the village. And we are not in life. It does seem as if the attack and defense skills don't seem Let to have see very it. much of an impact yes. on attack and defense roles. So, on that assumption, it is a good idea to improve them as much as we can, on the belief that they will still make a difference. Also hoping to improve Cador's armor, aren't we? I can do that. Yes. Yes. Uh. And I know that I could sell a lot of leather, but I need to hold off on that just yet. I'm on my way. There will be times in the future when we will need a fair bit of leather, and while we probably have most of that, if not enough, on already, my way. We don't know for certain what we need. Now, let's go this way round the trees. Keep our eyes peeled. There should be an adult I wolf concur. around here. Go on, Cador. Hit it from behind. No, it turns around. Okay. Ah, uh, was it his axe we were looking to improve for the damage? For that, we need silicon, which we can get from the orcs in the cave. I see prints. You will not get away from me! It's all experience, it all adds up. Yes? Is he attacking I can slowly? do that. He appears to be attacking slowly. He's taking yes? the slower attacking stops. Let me see it. Ha. Now. Well, yes. let us go. I think we've cleared out most of this area, if not all of it already. And be aware right. there's a stronger banshee somewhere in the swamp. I think I heard it drifting, hissing as it drifts about. All right, well, we've had a little scrap. Given Cador a bit of a warm-up. Let's see right. if that's enough to improve his skill in the village. I concur. Or possibly upgrade some of his equipment. And if not, let's see how close we are.
Right. So we can sell these. Oh. Okay. We'll make those. Only 21. Oh, we'll do it. Time for an armor upgrade. And now more of his forearms are covered with leather. Oh, oh, 30 free experience, 30 free required. Perfect. He even learns a little bit of skill and goes up to 18 attack, 13 defense. All right, what have the orcs on again? Is it 29 and 25 or 29 and 24? Yes. In which case, let's improve Zack's combat skill a little more as well. Hmm. We'll give him a little elemental magic boost. And another melee boost there. So Zack now has attack 35, defense 30, which is quite respectable. It does mean that he is again disgustingly much better than Cadillac. The main reason for this is that mm, weapon damage is based purely on material and not on the skill or strength of the wielder. So Cadillac is a long way behind. Part of that is due to his intelligence being lower, so he gains 79% of experience as opposed to Zack, who gains 100%. But it can't just be that. So, Zack had a little bit of a head start with the tutorial introduction area. And Zack has his big backstab skill, which Cador does not have. So Zack definitely had a head start in terms of skill and experience to bring him up to a sort of minimum viable level where he wouldn't be as fragile. That being said, with this boost in combat... Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll sell that. Okay, so what's next for the improvement? Uh, stitched. So eight, eight. It's got to be this. Hundred and thirty. It'll be a while. So with that in mind, let's get back out there. Sneak through the brigands, or around them actually, now that we've cleared most of the goblins guarding the entrances to the brigands camp. And see if we can get to that troll. We could attempt to sneak into the village of the orcs. The orcs in the village have... It seems like they have the exact same stats as the orcs in the cave. Well, let us go! In the cave we can isolate the orcs individually. In the tunnels and corridors and chambers. In the village, the orcs can come running if one gets into trouble. And we can easily become swamped numbered. So it does appear as if the cave is our next port of call. Our destination, as it were. Now, the goblin guards will not have replenished, but there are still goblins who patrol the area. Well, let us go! Right. For now... It's in our best interest to generally avoid conflict until we reach the Orcish Cave. Once in the caverns, we should attempt to isolate and pick off individual orcs to make our way through to the shaman. Who I has concur. The key. I'm on my way. At some point, we're likely to return to the caves and attempt to destroy. Okay, look, you're on your own. We'll take you. Unless there's a slinger who's... Give us money. 
we need that. <laughs> it's not much, but it all adds up. This game is really grindy in terms of its progression. Ah! Well, in terms of its gear progression, not necessarily character well, progression. Well, let us go! Yes! Let's hunker down anyway. I believe we've killed all the goblins on this side of the bridge and all the brigands on that side of the bridge. But... It does pay to be careful, at the moment especially. Excellent. Now we can go this way through the brigands camp, or this way. I'm going to go this way because I believe we killed most, if not all, of the goblins at that bonfire. On our way back last time, but as I said, there are still goblins on patrol in the area. And if we can help thin their numbers, that's great as well. Mm. Trying to sneak into the Orkish village is pretty dangerous, yes. so we shall need to be careful as we do so. For now, though, we aha! We have a troll. To kill. Well, not no, not kill. Goodness, if we can kill that troll, we would it'd be phenomenal. Dance now! No, we have a troll to sneak past. Aha! Just one moment. And Excellent. if we're going to sneak past the troll, while Zack is the tiger man and cats can see in the dark, Cador would also benefit from an increased Just vision one capability. Moment. Yes. So let's sneak him up to here. And wait till he can see the troll. Goodness, where are you? I think it's gone back up this way. I think if it was around here, I would probably be able to see it. Way Aha. up there and back to Zach, and we'll sneak him up to here. Excellent. Should reappear sooner than there when Cador can see it. Excellent, dear troll. Take your time. Look around. Make yourself feel comfortable with your surroundings. Don't worry about anyone who might be coming to sneak up on you because you can't see any of them at all. And what you can't see can't hurt you. Be like the ravenous bug bladder beast of trial. When Just do we start fighting, if I may ask? And let us sneak on by. Okay, now. There is a corner to the vision area there that needs to be avoided. Um, I don't think there's any quests that lead us back into this cavern. Mm. After we go in to get this thing from the other Aha. side. But into the cave we shall go. No. Yes. Let's get both people across. Aha! We've slain the orc who patrols this. No, is impossible. That is not good. Let's Ooh. now go for the one who patrols near the sarcophagus. And while we're here. Yes! Just Ooh. one moment. Yes! The breathing does sound like the cave is asleep. Never! 
Right, so Aha. The paddle. You are needed in front. Excellent. Go get him. Just Zach, one moment. Walk it in. Oh shit. Okay, you plan. Yes! Well, this is not the run. Just one moment. So we're going to cross the bridge. Aha. And pay more attention to where the shaman is. careful about going down that right hand tunnel is I think there are two orcs in the, in the chamber beyond now. Okay, the shaman is coming up here. And going away again, please. Not going away again. Okay. I mean, that's very nice. Okay. Start. That's a bit close. Let's run back. No, no. Both of you. Back up. Okay, now we're fine. Okay, good. Keep up the damage. Um. Hold it. Yes? Fine. Let's go for armor types. I am in! So we don't know what the attack penalty is for attacking specific body locations. Wait, please! But we saw a lot of misses there. I think we'll have to settle for hitting random body locations for now. Please hit. Oh my god. And again, please. I have a horrible feeling. Zack needs to stop attacking. You can follow if you want to, mate, but... Oh, God. Okay. And Back how up. do you think I will get them? Fly! Yes? Wait, please! Now hush, Dave! Yes, yes! Now we need you to back up. I do not care Around where we go, so long as we find someone to bruise. Yes? Well, and well. Corpse. Yes? Now that was quite successful. 
So I'm going to save there. And then we shall see if we can get to this spell cast. Excellent. Oh, all the way down there. I see. Right. Okay. Um, Never. Okay. Well, hang on. Because we can. Oh, shit. There's two of them. I cannot do that. Oh. Okay, mate. Look, here's what you do get your bow, shoot him. I cannot do oh. that. And Zach attack. Oh, God. Here we go. Right. Yes? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. There's another orc right there. This is turning into a disaster. Can we? You belong we in a grave. Stop attacking, Zach. I love magic. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna take some time, isn't it? Well, how about um, we change our yes. tactic and come round from this side after all? Here. Just turn around, Mr. Orc, please. Oh shit, I see the shaman magic there. Let's hope he walks away. Okay. I shall teach you a <laughs> lesson. Right, mate. Yes? Back up. Uh, yeah. Well, let us go! Let the orc come. Ah. Yes? And we'll fight him here. Yeah. In the tunnel. Zack, turn off attack. Oh, wait, that's on. Good hits from Cadwell there. Okay, we're gonna stand and defend for a few more seconds. And then start attacking. Because. Oh, God, there we go. I was about to say, because we need to regain stamina for spellcasting. You know, mm. if we can't get a backstab ah. attack on the orc very easily, we have another way of inducing him to come and fight us. Ah. It's not a very effective way. But get us his attention. Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh oh, shit, that's a problem. Okay, you two. Run away. Run away now. Bam, fight here. Oh no. She's definitely coming to boost this one. Is she gonna walk away now? <laughs> She's gonna walk away now and not help the fight. Right, speaking of helping the fight. Mate. Yes? Damage. 
much. Wait, please. Yes. Oh, come on, seriously. I can do that. So, <gasps> currently, what we need is for Cador to stop taking damage so quickly. Now, the only way we can do that is to boost his skill. Boosting his armor Just will help a little bit, but boosting moment. his skill will be more effective. Perhaps this is not the orc to tackle first. Aha! Man, love it when they've only got 40 health. That was going rather well up until that critical hit. So now, just let's one try a sneak moment. and a sneak attack critical headshot, please. I shall teach you a lesson. Okay, that's really good. And then we, oh fuck. I can I shall with this. teach you a lesson. If you could both hit this Surprise! Oh god. Yes? I don't think this is gonna work. It's not gonna work. The damage isn't coming at a rapid rate. Too much for us to cope with. So that way, not good. So we pretty much have to come round this way. The problem is, if we kill this Excellent. one, the shaman will stop coming over to that cave. And we'll focus on that group up there. Ooh. So what we might want to do, actually, just run in here now. Are you gonna... There is a second orc. Okay. Yes! Good to know. Okay, come on. Go hit it. Serious. Yes! Attack speed. Okay, got. Oh no. No, 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 no. This isn't working. I can do that! And again. At this point, we ought to face the heal. Yes! Yes! 
Okay, the problem is this or get down into the fight. Yep. There we go. So what we need to do is lure the orc out into the tunnel. <sighs> or, wait, if we can ignore it completely and tackle the other one, who is... Oh shit, no, 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 no. Excellent. Sneak away, please, sneak away, sneak away. Are you going to go get the other one? Please do, then turn around, yes. walk away, and let us come. No! That is not good! Ah, no! That is not good! Are you going to turn around for us, please? Uh-huh, uh-huh, where are you going next? Away. Great. Just one. You're not going to turn around. Fine. <laughs> How fucking hell. I see it 47 point critical. Much too nasty. Just one moment. So here's a question then. How do we tackle these orcs from this direction? We'd have to go through here, which the map shows as having a dangerous monster in. Right? At least all the way around here. So let's try being a little sneaky and see if that helps. I mean, odds are it won't. Just one moment. Yes. Remember. Big, fat, ugly monster alert. Uh -huh. How far in can we get here? All the way to... That's not going to be enough, is it? Okay. Excellent. All right. Good fight. Mm. Did it hit both of us? Ah. Yes, it is hitting both of us. Okay. Yes. We can't fight this. But I'm glad I tried. It looks then as if the orc in the bottom corner is our only choice. Just one moment. It also looks like we're going to have to fight at least one orc with the shaman. Just one moment. Get the attention. Switch to axe. And that was a nasty critical hit. I love magic! <gasps> Fucking hell. <sighs> There's not a lot we can do about those critical hits, they just happen. I don't know what the chance of a headshot is, there's six body locations, so I don't know if it's literally one in six, or if the randomization is more based on the size of the body parts, how likely they are to be struck in combat. It's probably just equal chance for all body parts, to be honest. Right. So I need to sneak up to about here. Ooh. 
wait for the orc to turn around again. But unfortunately, it seems that all we can do is pick off the orcs. Now, let's be really stupid and try. Yes. Wait. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Try the other path. See if we can find a way around. Just one. So we cannot defeat the evil eye cubs. They're just too dangerous for us. The same probably goes for the earth elemental. Yes. And I'm going to renew this. Just one moment. Excellent. While I can. Okay, there it comes. If we could sneak in here and hide here while the baby beholder has gone that way, which I don't think we can do realistically, um, that would be one thing. Now, how close are you coming, no. Elemental? Okay, you're stopping. No, it's still coming back a bit. Just one. Look at it, we're not fighting that. Okay. So realistically, we're stuck with trying to kill this bloody orc. Aha! We can't get a good angle for a backstab, reliably. We can lure him out into the tunnel with arrows. So let's try and do that. Excellent. Get him. Okay, good start. Very good start. Yes. Actually. We're both still in reasonably good health. I say, just sitting down some nasty blood. Okay, Zach, we've got a heal. He kept the pressure. Oh god, he kept up the pressure. I wasn't really pressure though, that was like one big stunning blow. Every time it goes well, hey? Every Ooh. bloody time it starts going well, it gets difficult. Yes! Again, I think this is a issue directly related to Cador's ineptitude. And honestly, while I knew he was clumsy in the early game, I didn't remember him being moment. quite this bad.
Yes. Extra good start. Uh, I saw a headshot there. If we can get another, that would be great. That is good. To get a regular attack in. Oh, perfect. Coming close and is dangerous. And healing time. Yes! Yes! Uh, got enough for another one, let's do it. Absolutely. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fine. Mate, you know where she is. I shall kill you. Yes? We know yes. who's being attacked. And wait. And heal. And loot. And wait. Shit. Oh, for God's sake! Nope. Too late. No good. Right. Fine. Get it. Well, that's a bother. Yes. Right, we'll do it this way. Mm. You hide back here. You also sneak back a bit as that is looking dangerously close. So what we're going to do, I think, and it's not going to work, yes. just to keep things a little varied, is try sneak up and stab this one in the back of the head again. Then run back to our warrior friend. No mate, no, just mm. stay there. Okay, that's really good. Now run the fuck back over here. Perhaps there is another way? Yes, yes! And you, lie in wait and spring the fucking hell. Two of them. Okay. Uh, oh god, how did they. Right, this one, yes. Yes? Okay, healing. It's not gonna work. Okay. Well, that was a terrible plan. We might get quite a lot of this. Would it be easier to just go and do something else? Well, not. we don't really have a lot of alternative things to do. Mm. All the way back here. Aha! Zach, there, please. Mm. Okay, good start. Then run back here ah. and switch. Zach, we need you. In their fight. We got a steady flow of damage onto the orc, that's good. The shaman is coming, however. And start healing. This is not your day. Yes! 
no point critical. Okay. I love magic! Okay, good. We're back onto damage. We may need to just keep attacking. And hope our large burly friend. Oh, one point. Come on. Yes. Both back up. Hope our large burly friend is capable of surviving the damage. I can do that. Okay, that was a very close call and we don't want to do that again. Which means the time has obviously come to save the game. It also means we probably have to fight one orc at the same time as the shaman. Or worse odds. And I don't think we're quite capable of doing that just yet. Let's hunker down. Yes, now! Yes! Aha. Move into the cavern and... Let's see now. Okay, that orc does turn his back. Oh, has that gone down? That's no, it's up. Wait, we could hide in the corner over there. Do, let's do that. Let's come in here. Go in for the kill. Nah. Expect that one orc to come. Oh, yes, please. Just kill now. Uh. Yes! Do we take this orc as well? I think as a celebration yes. we might. Especially without the strength spell. What do we get? Uh, just rune extra targets. Money. Okay. The rune will be for spell casting. Well, let us go! Let's yes. hide. Aha! And then... Yes! Try. Oh yes, you beauty. That's much more like it. Without the fortifying magic of the spellcaster, these orcs are far easier to deal with. Oh, also, how much silicon do we have? Two. Still only two. Oh, that, that's a problem. So I've noticed that while this window is closed, we don't yes. always seem to gain treasure from bodies. No. Yes, yes. Yes. What the fuck is wrong with you people? It's just I the ground. I do not ground. care where we go, floor. so long as we find someone to bruise. Okay, let's save again. Yes! And then maybe... Yes! Ooh. Never! No! It's right that here! That is not good! <laughs> okay. Yes! Make ready! I cannot yeah. do that! Okay, bit of a problem. <laughs> Yes. Here. What kind of public gets in here? No, no, just here. Have a punch. Both of you out here.
And if we can block this one behind, perfect. Oh, look at him going the long way round. Oh, shit. Yes? Come on, sniveling worm. Yes? Good. We're throwing another healing spell. And we'll get this ready for looting. Good. Excellent. No, just keep fighting. Yes? Yes, yes! And again, <laughs> more healing. Liking the arm damage on the orc, that slows down his attacks. Meaning we will need to heal less often. One more time right about now should be perfect. Excellent. Yes, so yes. Now, on my way. We're gonna comfortably stroll into this cavern. I'm on my way. And unlock the sarcophagus for the magic bit. Tiger Man himself will do the honors. Let us see. Hey. I don't know why the camera wanted to zoom down like that, but we now have our thing. Ah, wonderful. The little dragons flying around us again. Yes? Now let's get out of here while we still have life and limb. Then we will have to sneak around a troll. Oh, speaking of which. Um, okay, we're definitely getting more silicon. Five, good. How many orcs should we kill here? One, two, three, four, five. So we're missing one piece of silicon then. I'm just counting orc warriors because of the one we got from right. the orc outside looking at the map, we've defeated one in this tunnel, one, two here, two here, is five. So yeah, we're missing, maybe one of them just didn't have any at all. I believe 48, 63, 59, 42, not 60 yet. Have to work on that. Perhaps no, there is another there way? there is no way. I do not care where we go, so long as we find someone to bruise. Now we're going to get good experience for going back to town for reward here, so... Um, we can't go all the way back, unfortunately we have to sneak past the troll. But at least we know yes, what we are yes. doing. Okay, you're brave, you're not afraid of anything, you go first. Oh sh I'm glad he turned around. That looked horribly like he was about to come for us there for a moment. And I can feel the sneeze coming on. <coughs> oh dear. That's better. Don't worry, Mr. Troll. We're not going to hurt you. Hurt your feelings, perhaps, when you find out we've been in the cave. Just one moment. 
Now we might. Um, yes! Be able to make it past. We made it past. Yes! Excellent! Excellent indeed, Dan. Indeed, Zach. Just one moment. And at this point, we're relatively safe to make it back to the village on the island. And I think yes. that's what we should do. Uh. Now, that was a frustrating experience in the cave, and I did say in the last episode, or even the one before that as well, that I have horrible, uh. horrible... Feelings. Well, let us go. Old feelings of that cave being one of the hardest parts of the game. I concur. Or that particular quest. Beyond it, though, the game really opens up a bit. On ah. my way. We're not going to try and sneak into the Orc Village now and do something with the pyramid. We're going to instead see if we can. On my way. way! Train up Cador some more to improve his right. combat skills. Because currently he's just standing there and getting hit. And that's likely to be the case for a long time. But standing there and getting hit is what he is good at. He needs to come to terms with that. We might even be able to upgrade his armor a little bit now. Um, I have my doubts. Oh, maybe it's axe upgrade time, actually. Right. That'd be good for him. Also, I have a horrible feeling we might want to just, like, up his bow skill I by a point. I concur. But I think we can get away without that for a little while yet. Well, let us go. Right. Hmm. I was I was just contemplating there if I should go and do an, another quest after this one, but I think the episode's probably going to be long enough with all those failures against the orcs in the cave. Okay, just run a bit. And then walk. Run well, yes, yes. Let's go. And walk it in. It seems that stamina consumption while running is a percentage of your total. So people with more stamina can't run for longer. They just get tired quicker. Let's inform Babu of our find. Look, can I offer this to the witch? Yes, that is a magic bit, all right, and you can ask a fair price for it too. But personally, I would never go there. The road to the cave where Estera lives is closed by magic traps. And is there no way to bypass them? I never tried to do that. I am no fool to risk certain death. <laughs> but I do know a way, though it will not be easy. You see, these traps are controlled by magic obelisks, and you need a special key for them. Uh, How do you know about that? Well, who else but me could have made a spare key for the witch? <laughs> and this is what it looks like. All this terror keeps it somewhere at the end of the western ravine. There are traps there too, but the lightning strikes only certain points. So you could try and bypass them, and then switch off the obelisk which controls the traps. It is not far from there, at the end of the ravine. But there is mm. another problem. A troll is always near that key. Oh. He never bothers the witch, but if someone tries to get to the key and the troll sees him... I mean, that big beastie would have a nice breakfast then, would he not? Or supper, depending on the time of day, really. Well, thanks a lot. Is that all you can tell me? Any tips or hints, mayhap? But of course! Here is my advice. When you show Estera the magic bit, wait until she names her price. When she does, wait a wee bit more, 
Then ask for three times as much. <laughs> she will pay, never fear. But remember, my cut is the half. Does he really think I shall haggle with the witch about the price? <laughs> what I need from her is help, not coins. I have done the villagers quite a few favors. Now it is time to think about myself. And of course, Babu is being greedy as usual. <laughs> right. Let's see what we can do here. First off, we can sell these frog's legs. It won't amount to much, but it's something. So, seven silicon. Okay, now that is a more correct amount, so we must have got some from a shaman as well. Um, so, if we were... Wait, 400. So, we'll ignore 400. 112. Right... hundred and ninety eight so we can almost do it now because we'll have to disassemble as well fifty one and a hundred and twelve is a hundred and seventy wait no hundred and sixty three so quite a bit to go um, and 130 is it for this? Yes. Okay. Well then, we will spend experience points and increase his combat skill once more. And it's getting a little more respectable. I think the next mission might have to be a solo one that Zack does on his own. However, we should keep increasing this combat skill. Let's see if anyone else in town has anything to say about recent developments. No. In that case, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thankfully, we've finally got the thing that the villagers ignorantly argue, refer to as the magic bit from the orcs in the cave. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, watching me struggle against the orcs, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I'll say goodbye for now, though, and cheerio, everyone. See you all soon.